Hey, hello, Javier. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. I'm fine. And you? Okay, good. Waiting for everybody. Okay. Uh, getting ready for for the last 60 minutes. Yes. Uh, the, last, the, the, the last round. <laughs> last the round. Right, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's... Yes, and then uh, there is a... a Wait a minute. Okay, teacher. And what are the others? How was your day? Good? Was it good? Easy? Terrible? Good, teacher. Okay. That's nice. Easy. Uh, uh, yes. Not, not too much. Not too much rain? No, teacher. Okay. So that's, that's nice. Is uh, yes. because uh, today was supposed to be, well, it was not supposed to be so rainy, but in some places it was raining, right? Where where do you live, Javier? Yes, in the, I live in Santa Tecla. Ah, okay. So by Santa Tecla, it was well. Yesterday it was raining a lot, right? Yes. I think it's uh, because of the because it's in the in the hills, right? It's like una colina, right? Yeah. Very, very cool. Yes. But but the weather is nice. Yeah, yeah, everything. Okay. And where do you work? I work in for lab in San Salvador. Okay. So then it's not it's not too far, fifteen minutes. Mm, yes, maybe. The, yeah. the traffic uh, <laughs> one no. Oh. Yes, that's the problem, right? Sometimes the traffic. Yeah, the problem. Okay, that's excellent. Okay, did you complete the platform? Yes. Do you have any questions about the platform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, teacher, I, I complete the platform. Okay, did you get the diploma? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I have, I think. That's good. That's excellent. Okay, we just have to to check, let me see the, where is this, the right. very slow. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Did you check? Did you did you do the check, the reading? Uh, yes. Okay. Because yesterday we were talking. Well, today we were going to talk about the. The changing family. Okay. Okay, in this one, it says that you say, "Why do women? Why do women work outside the home?" And what happens with when both parents work? What is your opinion about these two questions? Why do women work outside the home? Or why do they have to work outside the home? Or what happens when both parents, father and mother, have to work? 
Uh, are you married? No, teacher. Oh, okay, good. So then you can you you, you can have a different have, opinion, a different opinion. Okay, mm -hmm. okay what, yes. What is it? Uh, maybe. Mm, to uh, consider a woman at work mm -hmm. and maybe um, two person and the women and woman and I have the work. Okay. I don't uh, know. But do you think it's necessary or or not necessary? That uh, that women that women work. <laughs> this is moment. Um, sorry, and the women. A what? A work. Have to work. In your case, for example, if you were, if you yeah. were married, will you permit? Will you allow your wife to work? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Hey, Robert. Hi. I, yes, I have the, the word. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, Javier. How are you, Robert? Fine. Okay. And you? Robert. Good, good. Here, waiting for the others. No, we were talking uh, to Javier about the, the two questions here that it says, why do women work outside the home and what happens when both parents work, right? And then uh, I was asking Javier if it is really necessary that women work in these days <laughs> or not. Okay. What do you think? Yes. What, I mean, what is your opinion? Yes, it's very necessary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, well, the changing. Mm -hmm. uh, or is very fast and is necessary. Yes, that's Finally. true. Okay, there are very few, very few families, right? That yes. sometimes the woman doesn't work. You know that she stays in the house, but probably the husband has a, a good salary or is the owner of a business or a company, yes. right? Or is a teacher. politician, maybe? Uh huh. Sorry, uh, I was a problem with a uh, uh, item in this uh, section. Uh huh. In which section? Uh, yes. The yes. reading. Uh, uh, is in the. Uh, a moment, please. Okay. Is in the uh, question four. Uh, which family members are doing more? Housework. Okay, here. Number four. Uh huh. This is the number four. Uh -huh. Steve and Josh. Steve and Josh. <clears throat> because. Okay, here says now that Judy is working, Steve has to help more with the housework. Okay. Uh huh. This is a uh, Steve, and then if you see Emily, he's only having a great time in the school after school program, right? Uh -huh. uh, ben uh, doesn't have a school, and he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV, nothing. But okay. then Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on, on the phone. He's also doing a few household shorts. 
Okay. Uh, no many, but she is also participating with a Steve. Okay, that's why uh, here says, yeah. which family members are doing more housework? Steve? What is the household? Uh, the housework or household is similar. Oh. Like the oh, okay. household chores are all the activities. Chores are activities in the house, like wash the dishes, uh, mop the floor, clean the floor, uh, dust the table, uh, wash your clothes. Okay, all the things that we need to do in the house. Ah, uh, okay. That is the, house, the household chores. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. No problem. What else? Only? Uh, only. only. Okay, um, what about the, the test? Yes. Any problems? Oh, Arely is here too. Hello, Arely. How are you? I need Okay, good. All right, great. Here, checking some of the topics that might need some little review. Okay. Let me see. Yes, that's what I'm, let me see, I guess that here we can do. But this, well, this exam is not really complicated. No. Uh, we have to, And then let me see. Um, when uh, the verb um, for continuous, present continuous. In person continuous? Yes. Where? Here? And then, In this exercise? No. The other. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, yes. We're going to go. Through all of them, uh, first, I want you to remember some strategies on how to do listening exercises, right? That we have, a, for example, correct the answers. Then it says, Catherine has four, seven, or nine brothers and sisters, right? So then first, it is recommendable to see the answers and then listen. Because, uh -huh. okay. Oh. Um, yes, so it's seven, right? Mm -hmm. And the next one says, nowadays Mark is living at home with a friend or with his wife, right? With a friend. With a You don't listening? It's how fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah. yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. 
How often? Okay, so which was the answer? With a friend, right? Yeah. And then we had the next one. Do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. How many times? Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Well, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, some it means younger brothers and sisters. What? No, remember? Uh, Javier or Rob? Working abroad. Working abroad, maybe? Really? So the there uh -huh. are 12. Yes. Are in a school. Are in a school, right? 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, so this one, right? Because two, two older brothers are abroad, working abroad. So the best answer is the first one. Okay. So, the next one is, you have to use do, does, or would. Remember that do is a general question for I, we, you, they. Does is a general question for he, she, it, okay? And uh, we have would. Would is a uh, polite polite form to offer something, right? Uh, would you like a cup of coffee? Uh -huh. would, you would you like to, would you like to go to the, to a restaurant? Would you like to go eat, to eat out? When you offer somebody something in a very nice way, right? In a very educated manner, okay? In a polite way. So here, for example, and the answer usually is Sure, of course, okay, I love to. And when you ask questions with do or does, the questions is usually, do you like movies? Yes, I do, no, I don't, okay. Do you like coffee? Yes, I do. Would you like some coffee in this moment? Oh, sure, yes, please, okay, thank you. Then, uh, of course, I love to. So the answer is different, right? When you use would, okay, when you use would. And when you use do, it's just simply yes or no. What about the other one? When you say you like horror movies, no, not really. Would. Would, would, would you like? like? Would you like? I do. Is it like an offer? Is it like an offer? Or general question? Yeah. Uh -huh, because you're using no, uh-huh, just no question. Mm -hmm. Then it's better if you say? Do. Uh-huh, do. do. Okay. Do uh, the first one. Yes, yes, this is the first book. 
-huh. eh, no sé si las va a aceptar correctas with that my, my, uh, small case, but let's see. What kind of music? That. Because we are using third person, right? Das. Mm -hmm. And then here it says, complete, use the present continuous. Okay, and they say, how is your sister? Uh, is she, mm -hmm. is she, Study. He said, is she? Studying. Studying. Mm -hmm. okay. Studying. Study. Study. Studying. Yes, studying, yes. I put the answer. Okay. So you say, no, she isn't. Uh -huh. She is working. She is working. Okay, let's see why. Is that David over there? Who? Who is he waiting? Who is he waiting? The next one? Please go for a minute. She is coming. She's coming. Okay, she's coming in on the bus. Okay. Okay. Yes, that's correct. So you see, there is no much problem. Then you see, for example, what you have to do is to complete the part, the part that is missing, right? Not everything, okay? Because say, is she studying these days? Is, uh, she is working as a cashier. Who, who is he waiting for? Uh, she is coming in on the bus. So you don't need to put the rest, only exactly the part that is missing. Okay? Okay. Then you have another section, which is the, the multiple choice, right? What is a multiple choice section? It says choose the correct word. And then you just have to use here one word. This is about uh, vocabulary. This is about frequency. And this is also about vocabulary. So you see, it's not really. So Jay does yoga. yoga, right? How often do you? Go. Swimming. Yes, that's go, right? How often do you go swimming? Mm -hmm. And I sometimes play. Basketball. Baseball. Baseball. Right? Yeah, because you know, inline skating is you don't play, you practice. No. Aerobics, you do aerobics, mm -hmm. and then you play baseball with friends. Easy to get a 10. And you already know the answers. 
how many sections are there for? This one, uh, that's what I told you, right? That this, uh, this part of the test was shorter than the, than the midterms test. Okay. This is Andrew Altry, Tal 2. Okay. And, but, okay, yes. Uh, give, give me a second, I will, I'll be right back, okay? Give me one minute. Okay, I'm back. Okay, and in this one, you have to read, write, and find some answers here, scanning. Say, Audrey Tao too is a young French actress. Uh, she has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. Okay, so we have the when she was born, okay, 1978, uh, what she did in the decade of the 80s, 90s, uh, acts in plays, comedies, in high school, then she goes acting, to, she went to acting school, then she wins a prize, the best newcomer, and for her acting on French TV. Then uh, 2000 to 2002, she acts in many movies. And this is the Bujou, Bujel, 2000. Then she plays a young woman called Emily in a movie. Then uh, French, but the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. She also acts in a film called God is great, I am not. Do you remember this actress? Alguien la conoce? No, teacher. Because, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Primero que es del 2002, nothing, no, no. Nothing, uh, I don't remember. Si por ahora me puse a leerlo porque yo no. I don't know who she is. But uh, it says, well, Audrey has a big year. He acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me. He loves me not. She also has dirty, pretty things. No, not even, ni siquiera las películas. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. No, don't know who she is. But uh, she's French, probably it's more in, I don't know probably European movies. Okay, no, I don't know who she is. Okay, so then uh, let's see things that you can remember. 
Well, in high school, Audrey, she acts in what? In plays on televisions or in movies? In the school? Mm. In the school? Audrey acts in, in, in plays. Uh -huh. She especially it's comedies, in right? In plays. In comedy school. Uh -huh. Acts in plays, especially comedies. What is a play? A special comedy. Uh -huh. When we refer to when we refer to acting, plays or play is like a, como una obra, right? Okay. Or obra teatral. In this case, it's a sustantivo, it's a noun, right? Uh, it's not like, uh, and when we talk about sports, then it's jugar, right? Play. And this case is when we talk about a obra, an obra teatral. And let me see, let me, uh, there are many, in Spanish we say, en que, en que acaso usamos obra en Spanish? Obra de libro, right? Obra de arte, what else? Uh, obra, obra de construcción, right? Uh, we use uh, una obra teatral, like this one. And what else? I don't know. And obra, 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 de hacer algo, right? Obrar. Okay, but in English, you, for example, you say uh, for construction, you can say work, una obra de arte, work of art, okay? But when you say it about, for example, the eh, obra teatral, we say play, okay? So then there is a, there is a difference in English, but in Spanish, it's like the the same word, la misma palabra para muchas cosas. Lo mismo pasa con pista, right? In Spanish, decimos pista de aterrizaje, pista de música, pista de, de dar una señal a alguien, right? Eh, pista, what else? Pista para correr. Uh -huh. But in English, you have soundtrack para sonido. Eh, you have the runway for the airplanes. A clue para una pista de, de una señal. And sound, the dancing track, pista de baile. So in English, there are different words, right? Okay. So sometimes depends on the context, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Depende del contexto. Uh -huh. But this one, for example, if you see, como que fuera tercera persona, right? Acts in, play. in place, uh -huh. Acts in plays, actúa en obras teatrales, we would say. Um, because... No, 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 no. Acts, yes, for the acts, sí. Mm. But in plays, no, this is plural. Okay. Este es un sustantivo, right? En obras. Mm -hmm. Because it could be, she acts in one play in one play only, okay? Okay. The other one is uh, many American like in the movies, or the movie, sorry. Bojo's Bojay, Bojel, I'm Emily, or oh, God is great, I am not. I think this one is here. In this paragraph. Many American like the movie. Mm -hmm. Many mm, Americans. Um, Amelie. Amelie. Amelie, right. because. Is the. Uh, other paragraph. Here, right? Yes, Andre not just many movies, include the she plays a young woman called Leah Media. It's a movie. In a movie, right? Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. So there will be Emily. And then the other one is Audrey acts in three movies. 2003. 
2003. And in her movies, Audrey usually speaks French. French. I think that is in the last one, right? Uh, he says uh, he loves me. Now she also acts in dirty, pretty things. Dirty, pretty things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. Mm -hmm. That's correct. I think there is no, no more next. So there was the multiple choice. This was the complete conversation. This was the listening. Okay. Let me see there is a there was just one more exercise pending. Okay, guys, do you have any any questions? about the course, doubts, about the topics previous to these classes, no? Um, um, when you, uh, quantifier. The quantifiers, uh-huh. Okay, yes, this is, for example, the exercise about, uh, remember that the quantifiers is when we use for example, uh, there is or there are, okay? This is another word I say, there is a ver in singular, right? And there are is in plural. For example, here when you say restrooms on the first floor, so you can say there is some restrooms, there are some restrooms, or there are a restroom. Here we use some. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the quantifiers, as we saw yesterday, right? Sometimes can be used also for count and non count nouns. Okay, some, for example, can be used for count nouns and non count nouns. Okay, when you use, for example, some books, uh, some uh, houses, some cars, there are some girls, there are some boys, but you can say there, are, there is some sugar, there is some coffee, there is some coffee in the cup, uh, there is some money in my pocket, there is some uh, water in my glass. There is some, uh, what else, let me see, there is some, uh, there is some candy, but candy, no, no el dulcito, right, in general, dulce in general, there is some candy in the kitchen, but when you, there are, you can say also the pieces, there are two candies in my pocket, okay, one of a lemon and one of a strawberry. Okay, so depending on that, you can use some, right? Uh, and you also use it in affirmative sentences. Okay, you can use some in, que in, in questions only when you offer something. Would you like some milk? Este es el único caso en que va a usar some in question. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Offer. Okay, when you offer something. Okay, would you like some milk? Would you like some coffee? Uh, would you like some, uh, some uh, chocolate? Would you like some cake? Okay. Would you like something to drink? Would you like something to eat? Would you like something to eat? Uh -huh. What is the What is the question? Because why? Ah, because because it is an offer. Ajá. Te gusta quiere algo quiere leche. Eh, no, we don't translate in Spanish. In Spanish, we only say gusta un, gusta un poco de leche. O gusta, yes, gusta un poco de leche. Una taza de leche. Would you, like, would you like some milk? Okay, or a glass. Okay, so you can use those. Because you say any, eh, you can say there isn't There isn't a hospital on this street. Isn't is negative. And then you can say this one. There isn't any hospital on this street. No hay ninguno. Ningún hospital, right? There isn't any hospital on this street. Okay, or you can use there isn't a there isn't a hospital in this street. No hay un hospital aquí. Okay, this is more emphatic. No hay ninguno, right? You can use and any. Any is for negative sentences and questions. All the questions, except this one, menos en esta. Okay, for example, I can say, uh, is, there, is there a hospital near your house? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Okay. Yes, there is. Uh -huh. Is there a hospital? You can say, is there a hospital mm -hmm. near mm -hmm. your house? Then you can answer. Yes. Yes, there is. Uh -huh. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Or no. No. There is. There. there is. Yes, there is another reason. Is there a supermarket near your house? Yes, there is or no, there isn't. And if you want to give a long answer, you say, yes, there is a hospital, oh no. Yes, in affirmative, right? Yes, there is a hospital, uh, let's say, uh, around around the corner. Okay, or you can say... Mm -hmm. Yes. Or you can say, no. There isn't any hospital near here. Okay. okay. Then similar to this one, say we don't, we don't have, 
much, some, or many? Many, much, some, or many? More. Many. Many, right? Mm -hmm. Because many is for count nouns. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I guess I use many when not count. Um, when it's count, count nouns, choose plurals, right? Plurals. Mm -hmm. But if we change, let's say shoes for sugar, then we use much. We don't have much sugar in the store because it is non-count. Match. Or non-count nouns. And you can also use some. We don't, okay, in this case, some, no. Because this one is negative. Remember that for negative, we use any. Okay, so the best option is, in this case, sugar, much. If we use here, shoes, Then we use many, many shoes, much sugar. Okay, in the next one, I go to the supermarket when, I go to the supermarket when they There are aren't any. Okay, milk is singular or plural. Count or non count? No count. Okay. Then we eliminate aren't. And there is. Okay, there. Many is for count or don't count? Many. <laughs> many. 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 For count. I have for count nouns. Then? Mm -hmm. Listen, many. There is a much. There is a much. Cuando ya no hay mucha. Cuando ya no queda mucha. In this case, left is remanente. Quedar. Right. I go to the supermarket when there isn't much meal left. Cuando ya no queda mucha leche. There isn't much meal left. Okay. What is left here? Left. Quedar. Left. Uh -huh. Cuando ya queda poca leche. No, cuando ya no queda mucho. Y 
next one. I brought. I brought. I love. In bro, I love. Here there are two possibilities. Mm -hmm. A lot. A lot a little. Mm, a little remember that is for no counts. A little for no counts. And a few for count. Then you can use a few. Remember that a little and a few. A little in a few is similar, but a little is for non-counts, and a few is for count nouns. Okay, and then in this question, in this sentence, you can use a lot, bastantes, or you can use a few. Okay, you work. A few. I brought a few cold sodas in case you were thirsty. I brought a lot cold sodas in case in case you were thirsty. Okay, can be the two. And then I didn't have. Oh, you didn't have what? Remember the remember the rules, uh huh? And I know them put a lot because it's plural for solid. A lot here. Uh, I brought a lot. What is the question, Marily? You put the answer a lot because it's plural, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can put a lot or a few, no problem. A lot or a few, the two. Mm -hmm. A lot is more than a few. Okay, a few is for plural. And a lot is for plural, and you can use a lot in the two situations. Non counts and counts. A few mm -hmm. only with count nouns. Okay? A lot. Count. And no count nouns. Okay. A few. Okay, count and non count nouns. And a little. A little with non count nouns. Okay, so these two similar. This one is different. Okay, here you say a little coffee, a little sugar, a, a little water. But here you say a few cups of coffee, a few pieces of pizza, okay, a few uh, tomatoes, a few uh, mangoes. This is for plural, and a lot is in the two, okay, a lot is 
in the two. Okay, a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. You can use also a lot of, I, I consume sugar a lot. A lot of sugar, a lot of water, uh, a lot of soda. Okay, a lot of soda and a lot of cans of soda. Or you can say also a lot of uh, candies, a lot of people, a lot of students, a lot of books. So a lot can be in the two cases. Okay, clown. And non clown. Okay, so this is mix. It's like some. Okay, some. Some is in both cases. Some is for count and non count nouns. Okay, and the last one. I didn't have any cake. I didn't have some cake, or I didn't have a little cake. Only one. Negative. Mm. Any. Mm. Yes, I didn't have any cake with my tea. I didn't have any bread with my tea. I didn't have any sugar with my tea. Ok, and these are some quantifiers. Hay muchos más, right? Está eh, all, almost all, nearly all, eh, was um, a few, some, many, not many, not much. Ok, all of them are quantifiers that we can use in everyday spoken English, right? Ok, people, this is the end of this course. Uh, um, I hope on Monday uh, you start a new group, okay, the new class, the new course, okay. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the same uh, with this, the same people or everything or there will be new people uh, or if you're going to be with me or with another teacher, I don't know. But if I don't see you, it was a pleasure. And if I see you again, I will see you on Monday, okay? So, okay, bye-bye. Okay, Thank you very much. You, Take care, okay? Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, Thank you. Okay, bye, Robert. Bye.